Ladies and gentlemen, it is another day of Open Great League, so you know we have another video for you today. It's going to be an ABB team with double water in the back with Registeel in the front. So definitely an interesting comp. Um, using Feral Shadow for Alligator, which I think is basically the Gligar of this season. If you don't know what that means, it's basically the safest swap in the meta. It can hit a lot of the things that, um, that it's weak against with an energy lead. So when you swap in and they swap in late, you can hit like a Grassmon with an Ice Beam, and that's going to do a ton of damage from the Shadow. Um, for Alligator, because it's a very high attack plus 20%, a uh, very high attack stat Pokemon, as well as being um, a Shadow, which is going to give it 20% more damage. Now, it is pretty frail, um, but, you know, you're getting to those moves uh, a lot quicker than you would think. Shadow Claw, very great fast attack move. Again, Shadow for Alligator was in last season. It just wasn't as good as... It is this season, and it's weird because it was very good last season. Um, it's just that it's now the number one, basically the number one Mon in this season. Uh, deals with Claude Sire, which I believe is PV Pokes, number one. All right, um, that's going to be in the back. So is Gastrodon. So Gastrodon going to be a bit of a more, um, how to say it, like uh, RPS kind of Mon. So anytime you see a Mon that comes in that's going to be bad against Gastrodon, even if it's also bad against Feraligator, you probably want to get the Gastrodon in there and auto win that matchup. Uh, Registeel is Registeel always has been sort of the same type of Mon. Uh, basically, uh, wins a lot of the the ones uh, the zero one sh or sorry wins a lot of the zero shield situations against a ton of mon and almost always asks for a shield back so ends up giving you a shield advantage which basically you're going to want with the feraligator in the back all right if you haven't definitely hit the subscribe button but let's go ahead and get into the videos here all right so those are the moves there on the uh on the left side had a bit of the wrong ones there for a second but fixed them um, another thing to note, I guess, is that Gastrodon obviously is using the Mud Slap, which has been buffed this season. Um, I guess that's it. So let's go ahead and get into it. Ooh. All right, Registeel against uh, Pangoro, also another buff Mon this season because it does have Karate Chop, which is buffed. Uh, now, Pangoro is actually very good against our team. We're obviously ABB weak to it. Um, Feraligator is throwing Shadow Claws, which are going to be resisted by the dark typing of Pangoro. The only thing to note here is that both of the Mon here are very high attack stats, so um, going to be taking a lot of damage from each other, enough, basically enough to KO each other. Uh, Pangoro is running Karate Chop as its fast attack with Close Combat and Night Slash. Night Slash... Uh, has a chance to buff uh, two times buff your attack stat, whereas close combat is going to one time reduce your defense stat. They switch into uh, Claude's hair here, obviously a fantastic matchup for Gastrodon. Um, and then, uh, but close combat also dealing a ton of damage, basically able to one shot a lot of stuff here. So um, they're trying to, okay, here's what's happening. They're trying to preserve the Pangoro so that they can have it against the Registeel, but they come into just a really horrific matchup with the Gastron here. It's very possible they might come back in with... Oh, no, they have a Feraligator. Okay, uh, good matchup here. Well, hmm. going to do a lot of damage. I guess Registeel kind of bad against their whole team, um, but this is going to be the best matchup. They will get a move off here. Um, probably willing to let this go through because they do have close combat there on the Pangoro. Um, and this is kind of neutral, so I'm going to be able to probably one-shot here with the, I was going to say the close combat, with the uh, Focus Blast of our own. And now we basically have to get to the Focus Blast here. They're going to get to a Night Slash. We can just shield this. We have to shield it, I think. Um, oh. Okay. I don't think Body Slam is going to be enough here. Oh, I guess Pangoro is very frail. So we're going to go for the Body Slam and then the KO. Wow, this is very nice. Honestly, I think I would have probably shielded the Registeel here, but um, this is very nice too. Uh, even though Body Slam has been nerfed this season, uh, Pangoro just taking a lot of damage and going to get... <laughs> That's as close as it gets. Whiz Cash! Who's using Whiz Cash? Oh my god. But we're hard countered at the, in the lead, hard countered in the back, so... Gonna have to hope that the very back Mon is something like Claude Sire, which, to be fair, most of the time is going to be. 
Um, opponent throws on a little bit of bad timing here, trying to get, uh, and, and actually probably going to cost them because we're going to get to another ice beam on six, I think. So we'll CMP. Oh, okay. I see. So we went for more extra, uh, shadow claws in order to try to get to the double ice beam here, which is going, one of them is going to take out. This is a, this is an interesting matchup. It does seem like for alligator basically wins. Um, this does gonna cost you shields. Now we did need to win no matter what because uh, Whiskash is gonna be obviously impossible to beat on the Registeel even with the nerf to Mudshot. But um, we are getting to multiple moves here. Obviously, this is not gonna KO Whiskash as bulky as it's ever been. So it's just not gonna get KO'd by this at all. Uh, again, uh, some weird timing where they can get some extra. They could have gotten a lot of extra moves here. Um, probably could have gone for a mud shot as well. They do end up coming in with a talent flame. Uh, most talent flames nowadays, I think, are running the double flying move. Really good timing here by the opponent this time. If it's just Brave Bird, we're great. Uh, flame charge, I guess we lived anyways, but um, going to be pretty low here. Going to get farmed down, I think, by the by the whiz cash. I was going to be by, by the mud shot technically. Yeah. Um, but we have too much HP here for them to go through on the Gastrodon, right? Um, we're just going to get to a Body Slam, and that's going to KO again. Even though it is nerfed, this is enough to KO um, with the Mud Slaps as well. And it's going to take them a long time to get through uh, this Gastrodon anyways. Three Mud uh, three, uh, probably three Charge Attacks, I guess. Um, even with Double Scald, probably would have been a third one there. Gastrodon, another lost lead here. Um, just showing you that the lost leads don't necessarily mean that you're going to lose the game. Ice Beam is double super effective against Jump Luff. Again, at the beginning of the season, I was saying Jump Luff, one of my favorite mon in this in Open Great League. So um, definitely going to be doing more of that as well. But um, yeah, we can make a decision here. They do go for the Aerial Ace. Very smart by them to get to another move here. Although... We're going to get a little bit of extra farm here, and then we'll have to make a call on whether or not we're going to go for a Hydro Cannon or an Ice Beam. Do decide to go for the bait move here, the Hydro Cannon. Now they have been going for their baits as well, so trying to just catch up a little bit as much as we can. Um, this is going to be an Aerial Ace. Probably not enough to KO us. They're very bulky. Oh, it is an Energy Ball. Okay. Going to come back in with the Registeel. We're not really taking any uh, harsh attacks here. Nothing super effective against us. In fact, everything resisted. So going to be able to get a little bit of extra farm. Could even undercharge and go for a farm down. But don't really know the, the move number for, or, or the, uh, the, the I guess, how much we can debuff this Zap Cannon to get a little bit of extra farm. Do get a little bit, but it's a Shadow Jump Bluff, not something you'd normally see. So do come in with our own Gastronaut against theirs. They do end up coming with the Toxapex. So it is going to be resisting the ground moves here as it is a flying type. Um, so we have to just go straight Body Slam, which, again, not great for us. I'm trying to think how we could win this. I feel like there's no way to win this. Um, because even if we get the extra farm again on Registeel, we're getting all that extra... Uh, farm over and over the thing is it the gastron matchup's just such a such a beating i guess you know i guess the saving grace is that zapkin is neutral maybe we lower the attack before they get a move off probably going to look for a switch right here or maybe a catch switch okay don't get the catch gonna go just for the focus blast which is neutral i guess i mean they're both neutral so they're doing the exact same amount the only thing is you might want to go for the zap cannon if you are trying to get the debuff There's just no way to win this one, though. That's going to be G. This could even be Body Slam, which is resisted, but we're just so low. But they have infinite energy. They go for the back-to-back, the -back, and that's going to be GG. All we could have done anyways was go for the back-to-back -back ourselves, and the Body Slam would have KO'd the Gastronon, but then they still have that Toxpex in the back. Another tough lead. Again, we win the, we win the zeros, um, but any... Other shield scenarios, the Feraligator can choose to win. Um, so I guess just going to go for our winning scenario here. Um, hope that they shield, hope that they throw, and then uh, try to use that shield advantage to uh, gain an energy advantage. Did try to catch there, not too bad. 
Although them anyways throwing here can be enough of another energy advantage. They do have two moves. We'll have to shield once if they do go for another. Oh, we do go for... Did we CMP them before? Or this is a CMP on a second move. Okay. They do go for the farm down. This for alligators doing a lot. Now we do have a huge shield advantage. That is something to note. Um... Do we want to use it now on the Gastrodon and keep the Registeel for something in the back? Yeah. We want to have as much, uh, we'll say, play in the back just for coverage because Gastrodon doesn't cover everything, so we want the Registeel to still be alive for something in the back there. All right. They do end up switching into Dunsparce here. Um, they can get to a move before we can. I guess we can shield, and we definitely get to the Focus Blast before they get to another drill run. Um, Dunspar is one of the other buffed mons in this cup, or in this uh, in this season, just from rollout being buffed, uh, have the higher attack damage there. So Dunspar is really nice. Um, probably going to let the Red Steel go here. Um, they are getting a ton of energy. They are playing very well. Um, getting the energy count. They are only one mud slap away, so we're gonna hope they're not at back to back. They are back to back, but technically, are we gonna live a drill run here? No. Oh, we do. But for alligator, just did too much there. All right, Gastrodon in the lead, gonna be able to do a lot to us, obviously here. Um, gonna go for the hydro cannon. They they're staying in a long time here to just do a lot of fast attack damage, I think, to the for alligator and. They are going to try to get a shield as well, but we have also gotten a shield back from them, so it's fine to just go for the shields here. With the 50-second uh, timer here, we're also going to have elongated that very much. Um, we'll see if they go for a second shield. Technically, this doesn't KO, but it gets it very low. We're able to farm down. Um, okay, they go for two shields. Honestly, we could just shield again here. It's not the worst. Um, we can win this matchup in the end, and it's as if we won switch at this point. Um, gonna go for the Hydro Cannon just right away. Obviously, they're getting to the Body Slams pretty fast, um, with the buffs to Mud Slap. I guess they're, we're very afraid of the Ice Beam on the Obama Snow. Okay, yeah, we just hard one switch here, and that's gonna be GG. Frostlass. Not one I've seen a lot of this season, t for, f to say the least, um, but... Yeah, they can throw Shadow Ball, which is going to be neutral and does a ton of damage, obviously, but their uh, Powder Snows are being resisted. If they ever go for an Avalanche Bait, that is also resisted. Um, we're throwing... Uh, uh, we get a Shield Advantage, then we come in for a huge Farm Down. Not a Farm Down, but a Energy Advantage. They've already Shielded once, so we can get that Shield back. If you notice a pattern of that happening, they do actually end up catching here on Dunsparce. Not that bad for us, though. Two uh, Hydro Cannons is going to be close to enough to KO. Um, not exactly enough, but although it does double resist the Shadow Claws, so maybe not being enough is a lot. Um, we could always let this go, come in with Registeel and farm this down, which is going to be actually a ton. Although we might even live a Drill Run here, which is pretty nice. Banking the move and then farming down. Next level. Um, but the Drill Run, it, I think we will live this as well. So... Uh, they do have another Mud Slapper here in the back, so that's good to note on our side. It is Kanto Marowak. It looks like it's uh, one of the hat ones, has the, uh, I would guess, some springtime uh, Mon, if I was to guess. I don't really know where which one it is, so we do win CMP here. The Densparse is very low in the back, so I don't know if we want to maintain this because they do outpace us to the Bone Clubs, but it does not KO. We do have the move. We do end up ca uh, catching them unawares. And this is going to KO. And they're going to have to throw them. Oh, wait. It's the Frostlass still alive in the back. But we're doing super effective, and we are making it to the moves. Just that huge energy advantage throughout the mid-game, giving for Alligator just so much priority against everything on their team, even though their team was pretty decent against it as well. Another bad lead here, Marowak Fire. Having Fire Spin uh, buff is very nice. We do end up going to the bait here. Probably we're learning from the possibility of them having Aerial Ace. They do end up 
making the call there. So we have to make a call here ourselves, really hoping that this is Aerial Ace, but ends up being Energy Ball. We're gonna come back in with the Registeel. Now, even though this is going to be neutral Zap Cannon, they are basically in Zap Cannon range here, probably can go for the tattest bit of Undercharge um, and get a little bit of a farm down here because we don't really care too much about the moves coming through. Okay, maybe even the Fool because it, well, because it isn't Shadow, right? They come in with Dunsparce, um, one move not going to KO us, so probably going to let this go. Going to save our shields for the uh, Gastrodon here in the back and the Mud Slap damage, so that makes a lot of sense to me. Going to need some water, hydrate here. As this matchup's going to go well, they do end up throwing the energy here, obviously. Um, they are going to get to, I think, another move here on our Gastrodon, but... Dunsparce doesn't do a ton of damage. Oh, they actually don't, but it doesn't do a ton of damage anyways. I probably wouldn't have gone for that shield. Um, they do come back in with the Marowak, which is interesting because we do resist um, the Fire Spin, making a call here, I guess, on the Bone Club as well. Getting the full farm down. Going to have to shield this. Even the Bone Club at this point going to be able to do a decent amount of damage. I feel like it's going to be Clod Sire. Oh, wait. That's right. They already showed the jump off. Well... Big farm downs from Gastrodon and all three on there. Azumarill, always been the best Registeel. Registeel, amazing in this matchup, obviously. Now, I will say, last season we saw a huge uptick in Hydro uh, hydro Pump on Azumarill's. I would say this season, probably not so much. This season seems a lot more Ice Beam um, and, and Play Rough oriented, and they do end up showing Play Rough, so they probably don't have the Hydro Pump. Now, why is that? It's because two Ice Beams basically enough to KO the... Uh, with all the bubble damage, enough to, to KO the Claude Sire, which is going to be a big matchup here. Um, we see another uh, Ferrothorn matchup. Ferrothorn, a huge uptick this season as well. I think Ferrothorn is absolutely amazing. You guys already know that um, from all the videos we've had about Ferrothorn. But um, this season is, is going to be even better. So actually has a chance to really see open play and has a chance to see Pokemon play um the show six format uh uh format a lot you could shield this and farm down basically um so when when a pokemon reaches that place six echelon it means it's basically going to be in the top tier of open great league is what i'm trying to say so going to get another big farm down here i guess we thought they were going to get to a play rough there ends up being a fire mod in the back with talon flame and we have two water mods and one water mod that has two moves so all right malamar so we've seen this a lot in Psychic Cup. If you played any Psychic Cup, Malamar was literally almost on every team. Uh, running Psywave, huge buff this season. Um, most of the time going to be running, excuse me, most of the time going to be running Foul Play and, um, and Super Power. And Super Power obviously going to be super effective against the Registeel here. Um, they do get to multiple moves. They do catch on Azumarill. What a catch. I would go into Feraligator here. Um... For Alligator, actually very good against the Zoom roll, generally. Um, you can just shield through a lot of the, the moves here. And that is specifically the Shadow for Alligator. The regular for Alligator, I think, just doesn't work that well in this matchup. Now, you're going to have to shield once. Technically, you don't have to shield, but you want to have huge energy advantages when you come in with for Alligator against things. So, going to be able to get a huge energy advantage here, as it does take a Zoom roll a very long time to get to its moves. We have back-to-back -back just in case they do want to throw a in case they do want to shield here and throw a move, we can actually just throw right away again. They do come back in with the Malamar. Obviously, we have a huge amount of energy here. Malamar having that dark typing, um, well, I guess it is actually just neutral because even though it has that dark typing, our fast attack of Shadow Claw is going to be taking, going to be doing neutral damage because they do have a psychic typing um, as well. Clefable here in the back, meaning that they're not going to have a huge amount of fast attack pressure, meaning it means that we're going to get to two Hydro Cannons, basically, unless they have Swift, which is a buff this season as well. But we do get that shield, which is nice. Um, I think we could have thrown that move, but it's fine either way. I'm going to go for the Earth Power, which is going to do, uh, obviously, a lot more damage. Again, Body Slam nerfed, but Earth Power has Stab anyway, so going to do a lot more damage generally, even when Body Slam was... Uh, at a higher damage clip last season, it would have been Earth Power doing the more amount of damage there. Mandibuzz, uh, Mandibuzz very good this season, but this person already getting just super hard countered. We have a 
something in the lead that really not going to take any damage from the from the mana buzz. Obviously, mana buzz can throw dark pulse into registeel, which is going to be neutral, but obviously we have a huge advantage there with the zap cannon being super effective and having a chance for a reduction in damage. Um, now, mana buzz is going to be able to get a lot of energy here. But really, all you can do is go up to 100 energy, throw a Dark Pulse. Dark Pulse not even enough to KO from here. So I guess they're just going to go to 100 energy, Dark Pulse, and then go for Farm Down with the Snarl, which is pretty nice. I would really love if um, Manda... Well, Manda Buzz already good. It doesn't need a buff, but I would love if it had Sucker Punch. That would be crazy. Um, but if you do want to run a Dark Flyer with uh, Sucker Punch, definitely Galarian Moltres, the way to go. And um, while I'm not a huge pve person i do know that you can use roar of time with your adventure incense and you'll have a higher amount of time with it and more chance with uh, galarian moltres uh, being in there so if you want to do that also in pve news i don't know how many of you are ever are still on that catch 10 kecleon quest i just finished that yesterday I got my 10th yesterday. So happy to be done with the third part of that quest. I think it's the second or third part of that quest line. So now I've moved on. Finally, I feel like I've had that quest literally for two years. And, and I don't think that's even hyperbolic. I think it has been over two years. So we're moving on to a new part of the quest. You don't, you know, when you're as a uh, high level, like I'm a level 50 trainer. I've been playing since the debut of the game. But if, if you're one of a player like me, it feels like you don't finish that many of those um, infinite time quests, as I call them, because you're usually done with them by this point. So always good to get a another notch in the in the in the hat there. All right, another Malamar lead. We can just go straight for Focus Blast again. Both are neutral because since it's dark type, it's going to take super effective from fighting, but it is also psychic type, so going to be taking um resisted from the fighting so it ends up being neutral and again in a neutral standpoint focus blast and zap cannon do the exact same amount of damage zap cannon just is a little bit more expensive and has a slight chance of uh, reducing the attack stats so they do come in with mill tank not a mod i see a lot but it does have rollout which means it was buffed um and we're going to end up getting farm down here which is interesting I do, we're going to take, we're probably going to end up shielding one thing here no matter what, um, because they're going to have two moves, I think. Yeah, perfect, by the way, timing by the opponent just to get a little bit of extra damage in. Um, that's a good thing to note because in a three-turn move against a one-turn move, you can go one, uh, with the one-turn move, you can go one in, uh, one fast attack in, and then throw a move without taking damage. So that's literal perfect timing there. I do try to catch here but um, not going to be able to get there. We do still have, well, no, that was our last shield. Oh, this is going to be a loss for sure. Twice try to go for the catch, twice really good timing by the opponent. I guess this won't be a loss, though, because I think even, okay, what HP are they at here? If they're at 2 HP, they lose, because we're going to get one more in. Oh my god, what a last, what a good, what a great last game. So uh, anytime you throw a charge attack, one fast attack is going to come through. Now, if it's a one-turn move, the damage will also come through. If it's a two-turn move or more, the damage won't register until after the charge attack. But since they're going, since we do have that one-turn move, we do get that, uh, that damage to go through. And lock-on has, literally only does one damage. So the previous charge move did one damage, and then the last charge move, we were able to do one damage with the two sneaks, which is normal gameplay. Nothing fishy there. So that's uh, that was a fantastic game. Anyways, um, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't, definitely hit the subscribe button. It's Open Great League. We're going to be putting out a ton of videos. I even have an Ultra League team for you if you like Ultra League. We'll probably come out with that one tomorrow. And um, I'll see you in the next one. Hey, thank you for watching the video, and if you want to continue to support me, definitely click that subscribe button. You'll see any content coming out, and if you want another video on this same league for some more tips and tricks to other teams, check that video out right there, and I'll see you in the next one.